We knew that one day in the future, mobile phones would be able to take truly amazing images, just as good as the very best compact cameras. So we said to ourselves, why can't we just do that now? Photography is about capturing a moment, but for me, the really important thing is being able to relive those memories. My father was a professional photographer. He owned a camera shop here in Tampere. I sold my first camera when I was just seven years old. It's amazing how quickly camera technology is moving. Both myself and Juha have worked with many of the camera phone innovations over the years products like N73, N95 and the pioneering N8. But the Aero has been here forever since the very beginning uh, with the Nokia 7650, which was the first product with the camera built in. I wasn't here back then, but uh, I am a young guy unlike Aero. The idea for PureView technology, which debuted in 808, came about five years ago in a hotel bar in Tokyo. We wanted to improve the zooming capabilities of camera phones without sacrificing the image quality but it was proving very tricky. The problem is that with optical zoom, you need to use small image sensor size, which produce poor image quality. And there are many other restrictions as well. For example, small aperture reducing the amount of light reaching the sensor. So instead of taking the traditional route, we took a path more similar to what is used in satellite imaging. So you have a big image where you can zoom into the detail while still maintaining great image quality. The idea was that the 808 PureView should work in a similar way, and that's exactly what we have achieved by including a 41 megapixel sensor. You can instantly and silently zoom in up to three times while maintaining excellent image quality. From the concept stage, we then had to turn this radical new technology into reality. And that meant working with the very best companies to source the very best components so that we could build our first prototype. With 808 PureView, we were breaking new ground with camera optics. So it was crucial that we worked closely with our key collaborators, including Carl Zeiss, to ensure that we are producing a camera of the highest quality. Another crucial phase is the optimization and development of imaging algorithms for processing pictures and video. And that's basically where we come in. We can achieve all of this on a computer even before we get a physical handset. We have over 300 parameters to optimize before we can get the best performance out of the camera. 41 megapixels sounds incredible, but it's not about the number of megapixels. It's about how we use those to give you the best images possible. In pure view mode, the 808 captures a still image at the sensor's full resolution. The processor then oversamples this super high resolution image made up of 41 million pixels and condenses a small cluster of pixels into one perfect pixel. Each perfect pixel retains only the best information to produce a near faultless five megapixel image. This means you get the sharpest and most detailed pictures ever to be taken with a smartphone. We had about 50 people involved in making the 808 Puvius camera, the best ever seen in a mobile phone. Nokia is the largest camera manufacturer in the world. So it takes a truly dedicated and passionate team of engineers to continuously drive innovation in photography. Together with the new camera technology, we've also completely redesigned the camera user interface, so taking pictures is even more intuitive. In creative mode, you get a level of control similar to what you might find on most compact cameras. So you can select your preferred ISO, white balance and exposure compensation. You can play around with image saturation, sharpness and contrast. 
The unique combination of large aperture, powerful xenon flash and large imaging sensor means that the camera performs fantastically well in low light. The 41 megapixel sensor is more than three times larger than you'll find in most compact cameras and also offers a resolution greater than you'll find in most digital SLRs. Although the sensor is 41 megapixels, the maximum resolution is 38 megapixels due to the different fields of view of the 4x3 and 16x9 aspect ratios. When we first tested one of our prototypes, we used one of the latest high-performance cameras to compare the images. We found that the image from the 808 PureView was actually better and instantly assumed that the reference camera must be faulty. Luckily it wasn't. One of the things I find really incredible with the 808 PureView is when you're recording full HD video, it's dealing with over 1 billion pixels every second. We're all so proud of the video quality, we thought why not shoot the entire film with the phone. Great video needs great audio to accompany it. So we developed a feature called Rich Recording. It offers the best audio reproduction ever heard on a phone. The audio capture on the 808 is quite remarkable. It can capture distortion-free audio all the way up to 140 decibels. That's about the same level of noise that the Jumbo Z makes on takeoff. You can also output in Dolby 5.1, giving your home videos a truly cinematic experience. It's easy to forget that the 808 PureView isn't just a camera. It's a fully featured smartphone too. A team of some 300 people have all contributed in making the 808 PureView a fantastic mobile phone and an unbelievable camera. So many innovations have gone into this camera and we have created a lot of patents around this technology. The whole team have put in five years of dedication, skill and passion. And the Mobile World Congress was the icing on the cake. To win the best in show was a fantastic achievement. It felt like the end of the journey that started with a sketch on a napkin in a bar in Tokyo. Thank you.